Hey, how's it going, guys? I hope you have an amazing day. I'm Jose Daniel, and welcome back to another video. Do you want to start to do motorsport photography and car photography, but you don't know how to start, how to do it? Well, today I'm going to show you the basic equipments I use for the motorsport photography that you might have already in your equipment. The first one we are going to have a look is the zoom lens I have here. This lens is the 75 to 300 millimeters, 4 to 5.6 aperture. And this lens is the kit lens. It comes with a combo when sometimes you buy a camera and it costs around 200 and three, 400 pounds on internet. It's one of the basic zoom lens. You can get really close to the cars during the race. I have been using this lens for a while now. You can just start with this one right now. So the next thing we are going to use is to enhance a little bit more the photos to get rid of the reflection of the car and for that you are going to need the cpl filter or polarized filter with this filter we are going to get rid of the reflections of the cars because sometimes the race is during the day and you have to shoot midday so it's going to be like really sunny it's going to be really hard with the highlights i made a video where i explain more in depth the filters how to use it and when you need to use it the next thing we are going to have a look let me just grab my camera bag because you might have this same model of i have right now or you might have a different one but there is one accessory that comes with the camera bag that you will need it and it's going to be a really helpful so what i'm talking about is in the camera bag you can see you have the cooler here and you can see there is a little bag here where you put your cooler but in this case we are going to get out the cooler and you can put it inside of the camera bag if you have a space or you might leave it in your car or in another place if you don't have too much space because what we are going to need is just take, the, take out this So now we have set up here portal lens, I will call it, the back for the lens. And let me show you how quick I change the lens. So it's really convenient because you just release there, put the lens, put the cap. I just change the lens. Now, if you are in the pits and you need to take some actions during the pits, the drivers or anything like that, you can have those actions with a 24 millimeter lens or maybe a 50 millimeter lens and you will have this action. Let's say you move on to the race track and you need to get close to the cars again and you really need to um, quickly move. So just release, chain, swap, and we have our zoom lens. You can get close to the action again. This is really convenient. I really find it really, really helpful. Before I didn't have this, I will have it in my camera bag. I have to take out my camera bag, put it on the floor, take out the lens, change the lens, put another one. Sometimes I don't have a place to put the camera. I need to grab it in my legs or put it on the floor or anything. In that case, it will be really dangerous because the lens can fall, can get dust into the sensor or something like that but with this it's really good in this case a little bit dangerous because the lens can get out if you bend but just tight here this core and it will be really good the other option i have is this back that came with my 24 millimeters lens and um, you can put your lens there as well inside it have a zip where you can close and now you can be safe with the lens it won't fall off and you have a strap here for your belt as well. This little clip here, you can put it on your camera back or on your belt. This clip is going to be really helpful because all day walking around the circuit, holding your camera on your hands, you get tired, you need to rest a little bit. In that case, you just need to clip the camera there. It's easy, you are now free. You can use your hands for anything. Just grab your phone, quick it shoot a history have a phone call, send a message, uh, just to walk around for the next spot and you have your hands free. And let's say you are walking and then you need to shoot something really quick. You just one click and you release the camera and you are ready to shoot, carry on shooting. And then when you are done, you put it back there and you are free again. You might have this tripod, a travel tripod. 
and you only need to unscrew some of them comes with this option take out one of the legs and use standard you put the ball head on the top of the monopop and then you will have your camera with this you can do panning more stable shots you can film as well this size of the monopop is really low and sometimes you need this high or a little bit higher so in that case if you want to use a monopop just look for an auction to be a higher one if you are not sure to use a monopop or not some to be honest i don't use the monopod too often but if you are not sure just have a try with this tripod if you have it and see if you like it or not and then you can make the decision if you need a higher one have a try and have a look this is your filming with the zoom lens you need a really stable shots for panning or anything and this one is going to help you a lot with that and the other tip is going to be a step why you need a step well sometimes you need to have the fence in front of you and you need that extra high you need those extra inch just to get above of the fence and you can have more clear photo and more clear shot but remember with the zoom lens you can get rid of the fence in some situations i've been finding myself in some situations where i would get advantage if i have the steps because i can get a little bit higher and then i have a clear shot i will have a more better shot as well don't bother too much if you really need a step or not a bonus tip here is going to be a uh, chair sure. you see it's really small and you can just put it inside of your bag but you might asking is like why we need a chair well i've been finding it really useful for me because on the circuits i've been working on sometimes i am in one of the spots that i want to take the, uh, the photos or to film something but then is an incident happening or maybe there's a break between the races i need to wait a little bit just to see the action start again in that case i just grab my shirt i open it and then I sit a little bit just to wait for the action to start, just to wait for the cars coming. And maybe you sometimes need just two minutes or five minutes break because you've been walking all day during the race and you need just like chill out a little bit. And in that case, a shirt is really helpful and it's really good. Those are the equipments that I use for my motorsport photography and car photography. With these ones are the bases. You just go and start your journey. Let me know in the comments if you have some of them. Let me know any advice you want to see in the future. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you like this video. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're not, and see you guys in the next video. Peace.